and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we will be discussing about orphan drugs. Drugs basically used for the treatment of uh, rare diseases or also called as orphan diseases. Okay. So in this world, there are uh, a lot of diseases which are rare in their occurrence. They are rare in their occurrence, but they do exist. And uh, the worst part of this scenario is that we have very few drugs available for the treatment of these rare diseases. Okay. Uh, the other part of this story is that you don't find this rare diseases occurring commonly amongst the population. So that's, that's one thing. So now if you want to develop a drug basically for a, a treatment or remission of this rare disease, you don't see any profit margins. Okay? Because profit margins on one side for the drugs to be developed also requires volumes of sales. Okay, So that you know you have a lot of people in this world were suffering from a particular illness and then you go on selling drugs to the volume of the population, make profits through volumes. But if you look at the rare diseases, you will hardly find any person suffering from these diseases. Uh, but maybe across the globe, uh, the numbers might be high. But then if you want to develop a drug, if you want to uh, do some research, develop a product for the treatment of this drug, then it becomes a non-profitable uh, kind of a business. It becomes a non-profitable kind of a business uh, because the volumes of sales might be very less. Okay, uh, So these two things keep uh, the treatments options for rare diseases uh, uh, to the minimum. So that's the point, that's the limiting step when you talk of these orphan drugs. Uh, but you see the other side of the story, you require drugs because it's not that it, mm, you don't want these people to live with rare disease, you want them to live, you want them to survive happily with the quality of life that maybe you and me are experiencing at this point. So you require to have drugs for treatment of these rare diseases. So maybe you know, the governments have to put in a lot of money from their side, give some kind of tax incentives for the research and development of this drug. Now, as a pharmacologist, okay, the funds are there for the development of a drug. That's one thing. That's one thing. So that that's good for uh, development of an orphan drug. But the other side is that uh, if you look at the clinical research then we may not be having the number of people suffering from a particular disease to test this drug properly. Okay? So maybe at times you need to change the way the clinical trials are done because usually clinical trials will involve a lot of people, multi-centric, globalized, um, randomized trials, so that is what we talk of. But when you talk of these orphan drugs, we may not find uh, those numbers uh, required to test for the safety and efficacy of the drugs. So when you talk of these orphan drugs, maybe uh, there is some subsidy given by the governments across the globe uh, to carry out clinical trials in a different way with less number of people involved. The reason being, you don't have so many people in this world suffering from a particular disease. Um, there are a lot of orphan drugs um, that are uh, um, you know, in the phase of clinical trial. Uh, many are also marketed and a few of them have really changed the way you look at certain diseases. You, know, um, uh, you talk of diseases like cystic fibrosis, uh, it's not very rare but then very few drugs available for treatment of cystic fibrosis. But then if you see the change which has come up now due to the introduction of new drugs, uh, now people with cystic fibrosis can live longer, a good life. So that's how things have changed. That's how things have changed. Uh, you talk of a lot of um, uh, treatment of various poisons. You talk of treatment of various rare diseases. In fact, as medical professionals, we hardly come across patients with uh, uh, these rare diseases on a daily basis. Okay, 
may be months or years we may not see a patient in fact in the entire medical career we might just see one or two cases of a particular disease so that's that's the way these rare diseases are there but anyway you look at the global picture you may find a few people suffering from these diseases and yes development of research and you know, development of drugs basically orphan drugs uh, may help in uh, uh, maybe remission and cure of this disease. So that was a very brief analysis just to give you some insight on what these orphan drugs are. Just remember orphan drugs are for uh, rare diseases um, and uh, these rare diseases are also called as orphan diseases sometimes. Okay, And you have a lot of government backing, tax incentives, uh, the clinical trials are slightly uh, carried out in a different way for this um, uh, orphan drugs to know their safety and efficacy and that should be all uh, that as a doctor you should know about orphan drugs. I hope you like this session. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. I need your subscriptions to just watch. Thank you.